seen Wild Bill around? Oh, that's wonderful. Where is he now? Did he come back with you? He's dead? But he promised us he would come back. I, I, I have to let the others know. Thank you for your help. Here, take these stim packs. They're all I have.
sounds to me like you've stirred up a bit of fuss with the raiders. <laughs> Couldn't have happened to a nicer bunch of murderers. But more importantly, I hear you've stolen the cure. Mind if I see it? Of course she'll be safe. We're just going to do our own research for the cure and then ransom her back for our freedom. You've seen how Asher and his people treat us. It's far, far kinder than they deserve. She'll be all right, just not with me. Asher's guards are always watching me. They'd find her right away. Werner sent me word that he's hiding out in the steel yard. He's got everything there to take care of the cure. Take it to him and he'll handle the rest. Now get going! First thing you need to know is that I wasn't always the Lord of the Pit. Long before I was a king, I was a scholar and a soldier. In fact, I was in the Brotherhood of Steel. You've probably heard about them, but you may not have heard what we did to the city, the Scourge. When we came here, the Pit was just a breeding ground for Trogs cannibals and worse. Commander had us torch the place and take what we could. The pit had useful technology, but it was suicide to stay here. So when an explosion left me buried in the mill, my brothers were sure I was dead. I don't blame them for leaving. I probably would have. We thought nothing could live in the pit. We were wrong. Ah, you finally made it. I've got everything ready and there are plenty of tests to run, so hurry up and put the brat in the crib. Yeah, because you would have just whined about it. If you aren't getting your hands dirty, you aren't making a difference. Welcome to the world. What's important is that the kid is here now, and we can move on to the last part of the plan. That's just a simple matter of letting the trogs overrun Haven and take care of the bosses for us. Oh, sure. He'll just march back to Asher and his venomous little wifey and say, Sorry, I stole your firstborn. My mistake. You're in it this far. It's easier to follow through than it is to back out. That's the spirit. Nobody likes a quitter. In fact, now comes the fun part. We wipe out all those bastards in Uptown. You cocky bastard. Think you killed all of Asher's little psychos? No way. Not even close. Any given day, most of them are out on raids or trying to push further into the city. Now there's trouble, they'll be rushing back, guns blazing. No, the only way to put an end to their kind is to destroy their home and salt the fucking earth. Give Uptown back to the Trogs. Simple. Get someone else to do it for you. 
and there's a whole city full of trogs hungry to do the job. The only thing keeping them out of Uptown are those floodlights, and I know where you can shut those off. Shut off Uptown's light, and the trogs will sweep in to take care of the rest. My advice? Keep running till you're in downtown, and don't look back. Now, you can get to the power plant from a manhole down in the steel yard. Near the train tracks, you can't miss it. Head down there. Find the floodlight controls, and turn off Uptown's floodlights. I'll meet you back downtown. And here, take this. You'll want to stay hidden when the trogs come. Now get moving. Three. You know those fights in the Mills Arena? Well, its first fight was when I woke up to someone pulling me out from a pile of rubble. At first, I thought it was my brothers pulling me to safety. Instead, it was a scavenger trying to steal my armor. She didn't get it. But I learned she had a whole family of scavengers. They'd make raids into the city for gear from the mill. And that gave me an idea. This was the only working steel mill we'd ever seen. In a world of leftovers, it was a chance to build again. And that was worth any price. The scavengers saw me as a god. So along with my brotherhood know-how, it was easy to set up the basics. We started to build a city.
should have gunned Marie, you down bastard. long ago. What the? Hell is that? I knew I heard. Hey. Nice work, pal. When I saw those lights go down, I swear I heard the Chogs laughing. I think I speak for all of the ex-slaves here when I say good riddance to those bastards. May they rot in a glowing grave. Yeah, yeah, everybody's happy. Medea says she'll take care of the kid when she's not too busy with everything else. Don't worry about it. We cut a few corners on researching the brats, so we've already got something good to keep down the rats. It's on the house. But the real wealth of the city is in that steel mill. You'll have access to the ammo press in there, so go nuts. You earned it, kid.
Whatever you want, boss. I'll be whipping folks back into shape, and Medea's keeping an eye on the brat, so you can come and go as you like. But if you want, you could keep collecting steel from the steel yard. Most folks can't handle it, and the foreman would see you get a reward. And if you really care, Medea said she's looking for toys for the brat. I guess if you find anything, you could bring them to her. But that's only if you give a shit. If it were just me, I'd just keep drinking till the booze runs out. So live it up! I got folks working on it 24-7. It'd go faster if they didn't keep fussing about not hurting the little squirt. Medea's the worst of them. Keeps asking people to bring the kids toys or some sort of bullcrap. You'd think an old slave like her would know how to work without raising a fuss, right? Don't you worry about a thing. I've got everything under control. We're all indebted to you for setting us free from those bastards. You just don't know what a difference you've made. Now the rest is up to us, and I have to admit, it's pretty daunting. At least Werner's taking care of organizing the city so I can work on the cure. That sure would help me out. Happier Maria is the more likely I can get a full night's sleep for once in my life. She seems to really enjoy teddy bears. Creepy little things, but I guess she doesn't know any better. Bring as many as you can, and you'll get paid plenty for it. I promise. She's a handful is what she is. I mean, I'm glad she's healthy and I take care of her like she's my own, but it's a full-time job. And I hardly have any time to work on finding a cure from her. People help out here and there, but she's just such a handful. And I have a diaper to change and blood samples to run. Make it quick, this kid is a handful. Yeah, back to work for both of us, I guess. How's it going? Don't mind the mess. We're still rebuilding, you know. You just wait. We'll whip the pit back into shape. 